Shout out to Attila the Q for sending me this story that is coming out of California, where you had this guy by the name of Matthew Sullivan, who was 36 years of age, um, who is a Navy veteran. He killed his, it says he killed his estranged wife. And this is, that's her right there on the, on the right. And he was only sentenced to 16 years in prison, which means when he gets out, if he doesn't get parole, he'll be 52. Now, this guy went above and beyond to make sure she was dead because he didn't just kill her. Like, you know, just like whatever. It said that he killed her and then he froze her and then dumped her body in the bay. So he wanted to, he wanted to make sure that she was gone. Let me go ahead and get into the story. And I don't have to point out the obvious. I know many of you are going to echo that into the uh, into the comment section. A Navy veteran was sentenced Friday to 16 years to life in prison for. OK, OK. They didn't put 16 to years, uh, 16 years to life in the title. They just said 16 years to make it seem like that's all he was going to get. For murdering his estranged wife and hiding her body in a freezer for nearly two years before dumping her corpse in San Diego Bay, according to reports. That's crazy. He hid her body in the freezer for nearly two years, not two days, not two weeks or two months, but two years. You're talking 24 months. I, it begs the question of why did he keep her body frozen for so long? Like, what was he planning to do? Matthew Sullivan, this is uh, age 36, was sentenced in the San Diego courtroom for second degree murder in the stabbing death of Elizabeth Sullivan. The 32 year old mom of two daughters vanished mysteriously in October 2014 from the San Diego home she shared with the rest of her family. The verdict, I'm sorry, the jury verdict and the evidence at trial made it clear that Matthew Sullivan brutally murdered his wife, methodically cleaned up the messy murder site and then hid the body for years. I'm trying to figure out how does he only get a second degree murder charge, especially when you think of that word methodically. Uh, Superior Court Judge Albert Har Albert, I'm going to say H because I can't pronounce his last name. The third, who presided over the trial, said at the sentencing on Friday, he almost got away with it, but his final attempt to hide the body at the bottom of the bay failed. Prosecutor Jill Lindbergh told jurors during opening statements at the trial that Sullivan may have stabbed his wife five times after learning she was having an affair, then hid her body until he had to remove it because he was moving to the East Coast. So that's why he did it, because she was allegedly cheating on him. Sullivan, who was convicted last year, was living in Delaware when he was arrested in 2018. So this guy fled the West Coast and went all the way to the East Coast. He was really trying to get away from her. Lindbergh reiterated on Friday that Sullivan had murdered his wife in their home as their children were in the other room. He made her look like the person who had abandoned her family. And that was simply not the case. And he knew it. She added Sullivan had allowed his girls to twist in the wind and wonder what happened to Elizabeth. In October 2016, her decomposing body was found floating in the bay about a half mile from the home. Investigators later found blood under her bedroom carpet and a knife in the attic. Sullivan served eight years in the Navy and was honorably discharged in 2016 with the rank of petty officer. His deployments overseas included duty in the Middle East. At his sentencing, Sullivan noted that he would not have been found guilty if he had better defense witnesses to testify. I firmly believe their testimony would have changed the verdict in this trial, he said. Lindbergh replied, this is, there is clearly no remorse on the defense part. He thinks he could have gotten a different verdict. So that's what he said. He believed that if he had a better defense witnesses to testify in his defense, he would have gotten away with it. They even said he would have gotten away with it if the body did not float to the top of the bay. If it just stayed sank to the bottom, it would have happened. But, you know, he probably didn't think that through. He probably like, oh, just freezing her is going to be enough to anchor her. I'm not going to give this guy any ideas that he hasn't already tried. Well, clearly he didn't try enough because when she floated back to the top, that was it.
and he thought he got he really thought he got away with it and like the person said he had no remorse because he truly believes he could have gotten away with it if he had better defense witnesses so he was at this point he was completely fed up with his wife i mean he had to be cuz allegedly she was cheating on him she he stabbed her five times while the children were there and then threw her body in a freezer for 2 years and then dumped her body in the bay and then fled the entire west coast to come to the east coast to delaware and just pretend that nothing happened and that she just all of a sudden left him with two kids to be a single dad makes me wonder who was this person she was cheating on him with i know some of y'all are probably speculating that too down in the comments but who knows but yeah, this is a this is definitely a sick man, and he's definitely going to be going to jail for a long time. I don't know why they said sixteen years of life, and I don't know why they framed it as he was only going there for sixteen, uh, you know, years. But anyway, yeah, he's going to be in jail for a very, very, very long time. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you have not done so already. Make sure that you text the number that is pinned down below in the comments so you can receive notifications every time I go live or upload a new video.